Okay, in this video we're going to be creating shapes, but we're going to be using subroutines to do it. So again, we go to New File, we go to File, we're going to go to Save As, I'm going to call this Subroutines. Now basically a subroutine is something we can call. So I'm going to start as we did before, creating Importing Python Turtle. But this time I'm going to start to define some subroutines. So for instance we could define what square is. So we could say a square is for i in range foresight turtle dot forward 100 turtle dot right 90 okay now if I run that module we should see nothing happens but if I now write square Bring this across so I can see, minimize that so something doesn't get in the way, and press enter. It draws a square because we've taught the computer what square now means. So if I write square again, I get a second square. If I write turtle dot forward 100, and then I write square again, you'll see you get a square beside it. So this can be quite useful in programming because it means that when we've got a bit of coding that we're going to be using a lot, we don't have to keep on writing it again and again or copying it. Basically, if you're copying something or if you're repeating writing it again and again, then you're not using programming in the way it's supposed to be done. And we should be looking at whether we're using subroutines or loops or something like that. Now, to make it a bit more interesting, let's go back into our subroutine. Let's add a couple of extra ones. So let's say define triangle. can say for i in range 3, because it's got three sides, and we can say turtle forward, I'm going to keep it at 100, and we can say turtle dot right by 120, and then we can do another one, so we can say define, let's say pentagon, so we say for i in range 5, Turtle dot forward 100. So we're keeping the basic bits of code the same. Turtle dot right 72. Now if I run this again, again nothing will happen. We can just minimize this, we don't need it anymore. But this time if I write square, I get a square. If I write pentagon, I get a pentagon. Kind of overlapping each other at a moment. Okay, and if I write triangle, I should get a triangle as well. So we can get a quite an interesting pattern. Incidentally, I can also do this. I can say turtle, again spelling correctly, pen color, remembering the American spelling. And if I say red, and then I say the square, because I've changed the pen color before I ran it, and because there's nothing in the original code that then resets that, everything I now draw will be red until I change it again. So I could say, let's say triangle. Draw a red triangle. Or we could say turtle dot pen color green. And then we could say pentagon we should get a nice green pentagon. So we can use subroutines to make a whole list of different shapes and then we can actually run them.